Hi, this is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and today we're going to turn this wine bottle into this. So let's get started. We're going to be decorating our wine bottle with these pretty embellishments. Once it's painted, we're going to decorate them with these, and there is a tutorial in a previous video on how to make these. I will post it below. First we're going to start out by painting our bottle. And I thought I'd do something really really bright. It's called Real Red and it's an outdoor indoor gloss acrylic paint. So we're going to start out by painting our bottle. To clean the surface of this bottle, I just soaked it in warm water uh, for about 15 minutes and then I was able to just peel the label right off. I really like this gloss paint because it has such good coverage on it. So this is going to look really nice for my holiday wine bottle and I'm going to be painting right up to the top. If you want you can break up the color by maybe adding white to the top or possibly mixing it with a black or even a gold or silver. But I felt like something red this season. I'm going to come back and add on one more coat and let you see what it looks like when it's dried. Okay, so our bottle is all done drying and look at that nice glossy shine. Now I did go ahead and use this acrylic sealer, the gloss finish, and it's Aline's. And so that gave it even more of a shine and it's a protector for your bottle. Now remember these embellishments? I am going to top this off with the embellishment. So I'm going to just use my hot glue gun and I'm going to go right around the lip of my bottle. And I just thought it would be cute to have it kind of sealed off with this. And that red goes perfect. And so now we get to decorate our bottle. I wasn't sure how I was going to decorate this because there were so many different ideas to do with these embellishments. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some black felt. And this is just a sheet of felt. I just cut it into a strip. And so I wanted to put this on there, um, a couple of these around it to give it a border. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this right around the middle here. I'm just going to cut a little bit of that off, that extra. And this felt is so easy to work with. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue here, maybe just a little bit on the bottle. Just make sure that you have it positioned exactly where you want it. It's a little bit right there. And so that way if you want to break up that red a little bit, you just add a little band to it. You could do it in white. Um, so it's just up to you. But a fun part going to go ahead and add on my embellishments. I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue there and add it right on. And look how pretty that is already. And I'm going to space these out. You can have them closer if you want.
And if you haven't seen the video on how to make these, I will definitely post it below because you're going to be so fascinated with how easy and quick these were to make. And look at that. Our bottle is already looking pretty festive. Very nice. And I thought that maybe around this part here, I cut a smaller strip. So I'm just kind of, I'm going to cut that a little bit longer and make another strip. I'm not doing any measuring really. I'm just kind of, just kind of having fun here. So I'm going to cut a little strip just to break up that top a little bit, the color in that. Let's see. Stand this up. It looks like that will work just fine. I'm put some more glue on there. Just want to make sure that this is straightened up okay. Make it look really neat. These will be nice table decor. For the holidays depending on what color scheme but you can do it in any color that you want you just have to decide what what your front part is and then just glue it right on just be careful with the glue gun I've been having a lot of little accidents lately I'm just going to put that right around just where the bottle meets. And I and you just have to play it by ear. I know all of the bottles are just different shapes, so you just find out what works for you. Okay, so that breaks up a little bit of that. And I'm just looking at this as my center point, and I'm going to go right up the middle. And I'm going to put one right here. And that's going to be my front part. And look how pretty that is. I really like that, but I still need to do something else on here. I just feel like I need to do something else. So I'm going to take some of my flat rhinestones. And I'm going to put some, maybe around here a little bit, maybe around the border here. And that way we'll have something else added to it. You can get really fancy with these if you want. And I'm going to use my, if you don't have this, you really need to get it. It's the Art Glitter Glue. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and... Put these rhinestones right along the border here. I'm just going to space them out. I've been really loving these rhinestones lately. I think with the holidays coming up, it's just got me wanting to add bling to everything. And this stuff dries pretty quick, so you got to be real fast with it. I'm just spacing these out. Not really measuring. And if you don't want this much bling, you don't, you don't have to do it. It's all about what you prefer. A little bit too much there, but that's okay. Let's take that one off. No worries. The nice thing with this glue is that you don't need much of it. Just making sure those are lined up okay. That just gives your bottle a little bit of border 
and it just breaks things up a little bit. Like I said, you don't have to get this fancy with it. It's just up to you. Okay, and so far so good. Now you know what I'm going to have to do. I have to put some along the bottom just because. So I'm going to go ahead and put some along the bottom just like I did this. And then I'll come back and let you see what it looks like. Okay, so my wine bottle is all done, and I did put the rhinestones at the bottom just to kind of give it some balance. So I did rhinestones and then the, the black band here and then rhinestones and another black band there. So that's really cute for the holiday. And I had so much fun making it that I went ahead and did another one just somewhat similar, but not, um, I just did the one black band in the middle, put some larger rhinestones at the bottom, and then put some kind of at the top here, right around the edge. And so I have two matching bottles all ready for the holidays. And like I said, these embellishments, I did do a tutorial on that and I will post it below. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. Bye.